Good morning from Airly Beach. Little work set up going on here at the moment. Behind the scenes of the vlogging. I got the Nourish Bowl and it's like muesli, yogurt and fruit and it looks so good actually. Very excited about it. Tom's gone for an omelette. I'll have an omelette. Those are the worst Welsh accent I've ever done ever. Good morning guys from Early Beach. Hold on, let me sort out this mop of a hair. We are here about to do what was my favourite activity the last time I did the East Coast and that is sailing the Whitsundays. Now the Whitsundays are a series of islands that are basically located just off the East Coast of Early Beach. So that's kind of like between Townsville where we were in the last vlog and Brisbane kind of like sort of in the middle. It's not in the middle but and they are beautiful guys. So we stayed here for one night last night before we're about to go and join a boat tour with the boat the Atlantic Clipper. I have never been on this boat before it's a total different style of boat to the one I went on last time I did the Whitsundays plus it's going to be with a group of I think 50 of us and we don't know any of them so it's gonna be a great vlog I'm so excited. However I will just say this and I am not ever anybody to throw like a company under the bus or like slag somebody off so this is definitely not me doing that but we stayed one night last night here at Nomads in Early Beach and personally for me I I think this might be that was awkward the cleaners were just about to walk in as i was saying that yeah i don't want to say it's the worst hostel i've ever stayed in but i definitely don't think it's one of my favorites it's probably not one i'd book to stay in again the actual bed was fine like the bed is comfy it's just a bunk bed you know but like it's just not particularly clean like the whole the whole hostel just hasn't really felt very hygienic i don't want to be really rude and mean and like i'm definitely not saying like don't come here but i'm just saying like in comparison to some of the others this isn't personally my favorite however it's like a mean and stuff outside of the room are really good like it has a swimming pool it's got loads of like chill out areas but the actual room itself which is for me what you're really judging it on it's not been it we are actually staying here again I'm not going to show you in loads of depth it's just not worth it really but something to bear in mind and also if you've stayed here and you had a totally different experience again this might just be our room like it, it could just be the look of the draw but anyway now we're about to check out we've got a few hours before we need to board the boat so I think we're going to chill at Early Lagoon We are ready to set sail on our Whitsunday's adventure. We are just at the check-in place where you check in for the boat. Look at all these cool boats on the harbour. So then we boarded the boat and the Atlantic Clipper is actually one of the bigger sailing trips that you can do around the Whitsundays. So we met everybody, there was 54 of us, and then we set sail and we got straight into it really. We were just chilling on the deck, listening to music. The scenery is just unbelievable. I honestly think this is like the 12th time we've heard Taylor Swift play today. Tom is hating life. I am loving life. Ready? Play, 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 play. Taylor Swift and this view. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Tom's ready to throw himself overboard. I think it's a vibe, guys. We have just checked into our room. I'll show you a cute little three person room. I feel a little bit sorry for the girl that's staying here, but we've just met her. She's so sound, she's like so joked about it. Her name is Eden, she was very cool. Tom and I are up here on a very small double bed and then we've got like a couple of rooms just outside so you can kind of get a feel of the boat. You've got like other cabins here, us in here. Now everybody is above deck just having a few drinks before our first stop, which is coming up pretty soon, I think. So we're gonna get off um, or like get in the water, sorry, like go on the slide, that kind of thing. super loud when the boat is moving so I'm gonna shout a little bit but we just went off the water slide basically the Atlantic Clipper has a bit of a reputation as a party boat They're like two nights is a good amount of time to be partying but it also means it comes with a load of fun stuff like a slide snorkeling equipment flotation devices like basically it's just like a giant playground and I went down the slide then I swallowed half of the ocean then I thought I'm not really a very strong swimmer I actually can't swim in this current got back on the boat I've just rinsed my hair of the salt water kind of hoping that it curls but it's like feeling a bit dry my hair needs some TLC but anyway we have like a few hours sailing now and then we're gonna have dinner I'm so excited guys dinner smells insane it is spaghetti bolognese and cheesy garlic bread I'm so sorry for the noise boat like we're sailing really fast right now that's kind of why it sounds like this but yeah cheesy garlic bread and veggie bolognese 
yes please and hopefully i'm gonna be able to film a really nice sunset for you guys also i bought this new bikini today uh, from cotton on i thought it was red in the shop i think it's actually like coral it is what it is but yeah this is a new bikini it's my uh, vegetarian spaghetti bolognese in the sunset for me. I'm actually thriving with this, guys. Love it. And then after dinner, everybody kind of sat on the top deck and watched the sunset. Honestly, we were so lucky with the weather. It was like clear skies and this boat was just a beautiful place to watch this from. It was a great opportunity to get chatting to new people. I mean, you can just see how stunning this is. This may just be the most insane sunset I've ever seen and I've seen quite a lot of sunsets and quite a lot of the Asia sunsets. What am I even filming right now? Quite I love the Asian sunsets are so impressive. Here's Tom. Isn't this an amazing sunset? It's a very good, very, very good sunset. It's a very, it's a, how many wines have you had? It's a very good sunset. It's just so bright. Also, look at this boat. This is a dream, guys. Like, it's a dream. I see that light, that light right in the distance. What is that? Probably a lighthouse. It's the camera stick. This is just bloody stunning. This is Hazel. Where are you from? Hey guys. I'm from Brisbane. Brisbane. You won't even be able to hear us. All you can hear is this. We played Uno. This is so impressive. You're doing great. You're doing great. We played Uno, then we played, played Kids Cup, and then we stopped. And tomorrow we might be going diving. But I we are going diving. I haven't decided if I'm going to dive yet. But you're an advanced open water diver. We'll share the camera. Do you want to be in the vlog? There we go. This is Nick. This is Carmen. Carmen. Are you going to dive tomorrow? Yeah? Are you gonna dive tomorrow? Yeah. You're for Are you doing an intro dive? Cool, cool, cool. Good times, good vibes. There we go. You can't see you, but it's good times. It ended up being a pretty wild night, but the next morning we had to be up at 6am. So as you can imagine, we felt a bit rough on this little speedboat as we were heading over to Whitehaven Island, but it was absolutely worth it. We had a little brief, a little chat about where we were going to go and what we were going to do. And then we'd arrived on the island. Good morning from the Whit Sundays. We are at Whitehaven Beach. Well, we're not at the beach at the moment. We're currently going to the lookout. So probably the next thing you're going to see is going to be the incredible infamous view of the Whitsundays. I'm so excited for Tom to see this. So we did the hike up to the famous viewpoint and the guide that we had with us was telling us about how this is actually the third most photographed spot in all of Australia after the Opera House and Uluru. He was also telling us some famous facts about some films that were filmed here, including Pirates of the Caribbean. And then we were free to do whatever we wanted and I just wanted to look at this view for a bit longer to be honest because not much rivals it in my opinion. I felt so lucky to be here. It was such a pinch me moment to be like back here with Tom in this beautiful weather with an amazing group of people. Like honestly, this is one of my favorite places in the world. I just absolutely love it. It's so stunning. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold back to the boat around lunchtime and then after lunch we actually went for a little snorkel at one of the reefs so this is still the great barrier reef it spans such a big big area of like queensland so even though we were at the barrier reef in cairns this is also part of the barrier reef off of the whitsundays the theme tonight is white party so we are dressed for a white party first boat is leaving i think we're going to a little island everyone's dressed in white <laughs> that is such a sorry sight Sunset is behind me, we've got the boat, we've got everybody in white, we have the most incredible little bank of sand running the whole way down. But yeah, this is basically a sand island that only forms when the tide is low, that's right isn't it? Yeah. So basically at the moment obviously it's low tide, meaning there's like a lot of sand, everyone's taking advantage of the golden hour. So cute. And everybody looks like they're like ready for their own wedding, I kind of love it. Also it really gives me like Love Island vibes, it looks like an episode of Love Island, you know when they take them out of the villa and they're like somewhere like this. Walla, 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 walla,
Walla Walla The wishy wishy wash up Wishy wishy wash up Bob Delaney Timmy Timmy Tamba Timmy Timmy Tamba Nicky Minaj, doesn't he? He loves Nicky Minaj. <laughs> Hello, it is Wednesday. It's our final day on the Whitsunday sailing trip. I've literally just woken up and I look like I've died. I kind of feel like that too because I had quite a lot of wine last night, but it was a really good time. It was super fun. So we're going to head up, have some breakfast. It's not even 7 a.m. yet. It's so early. To catch you if you fall and deep and We're going to arrive a little bit earlier than expected. Wow. No pun intended. Every, every time he says the word early beach, he has to make a dad joke about the fact that it's the word early. Like, there's definitely a pun in there. Well, are we or are we not arriving back to early earlier? We are arriving to early earlier. Uh, I just feel like you could never get tired of these insane views. Like, I definitely think if it wasn't for the seasickness and the tiny cabins, I could definitely live on a boat. If yeah, the boat was definitely. like a bit bigger. It hasn't been rocky earlier. No, it's not been rocky at all. It's been so good. Until my heart gives in, I will do everything I can for Now we're in Australia, guys. Tom's bought a bloody... I don't even know what, what kind of hat this is. I don't even know what you call this. I'm going to call it a Steve Irwin hat. Because I feel like it's giving Steve Irwin. It's giving I'm going to go fight a crocodile. Darwin. It's actually quite nice if you look at it. I mean, you do look like a Wally, but it's by Quicksilver. I thought you have to have one. Yeah. Australia. I feel like we've seen a lot of people whilst we've been backpacking with one, but you do just look really but quite funny. Very handy. Yeah. They are very handy. They've got they're a strap. Handy, so, you know, it keeps the hand and keeps the sun off his neck as well. That's so, true. As You're really selling it. Tom has got such a good tan on this boat that we've been on the last few days. You look. Sorry. <laughs> and, and also, if you use code Quicksilver Tom. Off. It, it bloody doesn't, but Quicksilver, if you do want to hit Tom up with the kite. But no, we have been chilling at the lagoon for about two or three hours. I've actually just been catching up on all the YouTube I haven't watched for three weeks, which actually was quite nice. I mean, it's really weird because everybody back home is doing Vlogmas, so they couldn't be, literally couldn't be further from Vlogmas here. Like, look at this. Actually, they sort of look like Christmas trees. Are those birds okay? But anyway, yeah, we've just been chilling at Early Lagoon, and now we're going to go get ice cream, and then by the time we finish that, all the birds at this time have just packed up the same time. By the time we finish that, we should be able to check in to our hostel. We have come for gelato. Look at how cute this light is. I literally love this. And I love this as well. And now I'm looking considerably more alive, although the hair is just wild. Guys, I just haven't had like put together hair for a month now and it's okay. But we are back in Early Beach. We are staying in Nomads once again and I want to update my original review because I do think that we got particularly unlucky with the very first room. Like by no means is this like a million times better, but this is definitely a better room and the toilet is a lot nicer and like it just feels a bit cleaner. I think that maybe we were just unlucky, but I said that originally. I feel like you, you get like the look of the draw with a hostel because sometimes you get a really great room a really great group of people and sometimes you get people that don't speak and people that you'll never see again and like you know it's, it's a constant like look of the draw thing but this room is definitely a nicer room but also like the people we've met in here are really nice as well everyone seems like really on the same wavelength but we're gonna head out for dinner now gonna get some food i've got changed into what i'm gonna call my pink outfit i wore this in sydney and it matches it's all from stradivarius i'll actually link it down below although it's a total wrong season back home to be linking summer clothes but in case you are interested. I also definitely think that I've got a bit of a tan on this boat on the Sundays. It was an incredible experience, guys. I actually do just want to quickly chat about it. I know I'm waffling, so I will keep it quick, but we did the Atlantic Clipper with a company called True Blue Sailing, and it is donned as like the party boat, but I definitely would say it's not like party party. Like most people were still in bed by 11 p.m. because we were getting up every day at 6 a.m. So it wasn't like mad sesh. I guess it was like the level of sesh that you wanted it to be like. The vibes were like good music, drinking games, and then kind of like going to bed and then during the day it was still very much like seeing the Sunday. so obviously you saw we went to Whitehaven and we went to the Sandbank and we learned some history about the Whitsundays and why they're called the Whitsundays and how they were discovered and all that sort of stuff and um, it was really interesting actually I really liked that side of it because I didn't learn that last time but yeah I will link the company that we sailed with down below if you are interested in finding out a little bit more um that experience was like partially gifted for me it wasn't for Tom but like just to disclose it. the Whitsundays was a pay 
paid actor as were the sunsets like they were some of the best freaking sunsets i've ever seen in my life i'm just so grateful that it was like that because the last time i sailed with sundays it was a little bit cloudy like it definitely was a slightly different experience this time a slightly better experience i think in terms of the weather just because whitehaven looked beautiful yesterday like lost for words beautiful <laughs> anyway we're gonna head out into early now to get some dinner and then i think we might go and get a few drinks with some of the people that were on the boat potentially they gave us vouchers as we got off to get 20 percent off drinks so we might do that or we might just go and play pool somewhere we're not sure but i'll bring you along we are out for a good dinner tonight guys because you saw we just had ice cream for lunch this is a backpacking tip we've only really been having two meals in a day which maybe isn't the most nutritional but it does mean you can spend a little bit more on like a proper dinner i don't know if i recommend that or not but that's just how we're doing it we're also watching this live music at the pub which is a restaurant Look at how good this breakfast looks. Good morning, by the way. I've got poached egg, avocado, and feta on toast. Thomas has a breakfast roll and a smoothie, and I have an orange juice. And this looks so bloody good. We're just sat in here doing a little bit of work. I'm importing the footage off the drone at the moment. This is what the drone looks like, by the way, if you've ever wondered. But right now, I'm about to eat this. We are about to check out of our second nomad's room. Here is Tom sitting on what was my bed. This one was mine. This one was Tom's. And this one, as I said, guys, was a lot more clean. Like, this is the bathroom. Definitely just a little bit better. This is the outfit I've got on today. I absolutely love this crochet top. It's from Bershka. This is my outfit for today. And we are about to leave. We're actually not leaving early just yet. We are staying here today, so I won't end the vlog just yet because I kind of want to show you what the town of early looks like as well because so far, you've mainly just seen the Whitsundays and the town is actually really beautiful. So this is Early Beach Lagoon, definitely the place that most backpackers spend the days hanging out if they're not doing the Whitsundays. It is beautiful, guys. Something I really love about these like northern Queensland towns here in Australia is that the lagoons are just in the middle of the town completely for free they're beautifully looked after i just feel as though if that was in the uk well it wouldn't be anyway because of the weather but also they're so well maintained and like everybody's so respectful which is something that i'm not sure would necessarily happen if you whacked a lagoon in the middle of a hole for example maybe they should try it <laughs> maybe they should however this definitely helps look at that that's the ocean and then this is the lagoon i mean this is like the kids playground but like yeah lots of cool stuff here really good for families as well this is i believe a little barbecue station which is also just dot all over Australia completely free to use and immaculately kept all the time guys I never ended the early beach vlog so I'm gonna end it here because we are about to head to Noosa on an overnight bus spoiler we've actually already done that I'm filming this from Noosa I just never ended it but the overnight bus was bloody long and I did talk about that a little bit in the next vlog that's coming up so you'll see that there but thank you so much for watching this we had the absolute best time in the Whit Sundays I said this the last time I was in Australia but it really is one of my favorite places in the whole world like it's just so beautiful so stunning and I really don't think that filming it gets that across so my top advice is if you're ever in this area of the world go and see it for yourself i will link true blue sailing who we did the trip with down below really really rated it would definitely do it again it was a good a good mix of like fun scenery drinking all of that good stuff but yeah i'm gonna end this here thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it let me know if you've ever been to the Sundays and if you have what you thought of it and other than that i shall see you in my next vlog bye guys